this tarp has been over this garden and over this soil for three weeks. Hey guys, my name is Jason from Soda Land and in today's video we're breaking ground on our new pumpkin patch. Finally, pumpkins are coming. This area of the property used to be a horse rink. It's also the flattest part of the property. We ran our three feeder pigs in this area just to hopefully dig up some spots and also fertilize the land. In this spot, we also brought in a forestry mulcher. There was just some random trees growing because the whole land has been neglected for a while. Because of that, nothing really grows in this spot. It's kind of like a desert. Eventually, my plan is to build a couple high tunnels on this spot. Now that we've done all that, it's time to plant food. This land is compacted, it's dry, it's hard. And before we plant, I need to borrow my neighbor's tractor. And we're gonna use this to break everything up. My neighbor's giving me a crash course on how to work this box blade and hopefully we could break up some soil. The soil is crazy hard, very hard, compact. Four, that's four passes. I, mean, I don't know, I think that's pretty good to, to plant to plant a pumpkin. The box blade attachment is not really meant for this. It's more meant to like grading, grading a driveway, but we're trying to use it to break up the soil. this is look at this it's amazing a couple hours on the tractor just to break up some of this soil now we could actually work it you know I can put put some rows now and we could plant some seeds I've had this roll of silage tarp for seven years. We've been using it. it. It was a giant roll. And we've been covering our garden and spots that we don't want grass or weeds. Help us with that. And we've just been using it over the years. Right now I'm in Marshall, North Carolina at Dirtcraft Organics. So the land, two yards, they do deliver, but 
I figured I'd just come and pick it up. They are so nice to separate it because when it's like this, I've noticed in the past I've had delivered like feed like this. It's, it gets harder for me to unload it at my place. So if we could separate the bags so they're not on top of each other, that's just helpful. Man, I love that machine. That's, that's different. So we're with Sarah. She's one of the owners, her and Adam. Hey, Jason. And so I have a question for her if like, if I didn't want, and like if I'm not gonna use this soil right away, like say, I might not use one of those bags till next year. Yeah. Is that okay? It'll still be good next okay. year. What we recommend is try to protect it from sitting water and UV. Um, because UV will degrade those bags over time. Okay. And if you have water sitting on it, the water will eventually make its way into the soil. Mm -hmm. And because this is a amended potting soil, um, if it gets saturated, you'll actually have nutrients migrate within the bag. Worst case scenario, let's say that happens, yeah. It's not a lost cause, you would just need to remix the soil. Because if it did get saturated, you would end up with these pockets of nutrients and then others that didn't have nutrients. And right. so it's not irreparable, it just would need to be mixed again. Gotcha. So okay. um, just that would be, you know, more work for you. Cool. I <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good job. You did it. I would love if we could take that soil and drop it right here because we're mainly going to use it right here for now. In order to make that happen, we need to see if we can borrow my neighbor's tractor. I'm not sure if this lifts up high enough to lift it over this lip. Oh, there we go. <laughs> He's a better tra tractor operator than me. Yay for cool neighbors. It's gonna be a burner today. Probably not the best time to do this, <laughs> but you know, I just wanna get it done. Plus we're supposed to get a lot of rain this week. So if I could at least get the rows going, that would be great. This tarp has been over this garden and over this soil for three weeks. One reason is for weeds, so weeds won't grow, so that way it gives us time to get to it when we have time to plant. Another reason, it keeps the soil soft just like how I left it when I went over it with the tractor. I don't have a roll of string to use, so I'm gonna use what I have, which is stepping posts No matter how you look at it, it's gonna be a little bit of work. The ground is not hard. That makes it a little bit more easier. And then you take a shovel and you start scooping out into the rows that you wanna healed up. I'm making these rows about three feet apart. The good news is that once you do this once, we shouldn't have to do this again as far as tractor, making rows. You do it once and it's set. We just need to keep piling on the good compost and soil. We got two, look at that. I think, I think if I didn't cover the soil, it would be really hard right now. I wouldn't be able to even work in it. Another reason for the hilled rows is for rain. You know, here in our area, it's usually all or nothing. And rather than having our garden flood out, these rows are gonna help kind of channel some of that water and kind of keep it in also. So when it doesn't rain, it'll go back into the soil. And it's on a hill, so it's not gonna flood out the garden. All right, Lorraine's here and Penelope. They're cleaning up the rows for me. Just kind of raking them up, still continue to hill them up. We got six rows that we could plant on. And now the next step is getting that soil, that good soil, and putting it right on top of the rows. 
the good stuff guys nice black soil I think that's enough for today <laughs> that took about two 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 hours over time it's just gonna get better uh, but yeah I'm hot I'm hungry and thirsty <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for watching and then the next step on here is bringing in that soil and start planting food and uh, yeah I'll uh, I'll videotape it for you guys videotape is it videotape or is that like an old term videotaping anyways thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one we gotta cover it it's like we're covering up a baseball field